Light indeed, George, action indeed. This air show has witnessed so many great displays by aircraft from the former Warsaw Pact state, and this aircraft is one of the most impressive types to have been developed during that era. A heavy air superiority fighter designed during the Cold War as a Soviet counter to potential Western opponents like the F-15 Eagle. fly-by-wire controls, and that was the first time they were featured on a production Soviet fighter. In the Paris Air Show in the late 80s, we had uh, a number of people there looking at the aircraft, see if whether or not we could admit it any of the data from its performance. And in particular, what we need is a stopwatch uh, just to see how long it uh, takes to turn through.
And Mark, it is absolutely a heavy fighter, isn't it? And it looks, if, despite the fact that it can display unexpected maneuverability, perhaps for its size. Yeah, this is uh, an enormous aircraft. When you consider its max takeoff weight is 72,000 pounds, and if you compare that with the F-16 at 42,000 pounds, you can see that it, it is almost twice the weight, twice the mass of that aircraft. Also, in terms of size as well, this has a 15-meter wingspan when compared to the Typhoon at 10 meters. It's a 
a satellite navigation system, a new instrument landing system, and crucially a new transponder which allows international operations under widely established regulations. And that's important because the Ukrainian Air Force has increasingly been aligning itself with Western air arms in recent years. The first upgrade jet was handed over in March 2012 and the work was done locally at the Zaporozhye State Air Repair Plant. The first upgraded aircraft was accepted for service in August 2014. In the following year, the Ukrainian president, Petro Poroshenko, flew in one of the upgraded two-seat flankers. today still as was carried in cold war times the medium range r27 and short range r73 air to air missiles a maximum of 10 in all plus the internal 30 millimeter cannon the aircraft can also practice close air support missions though they don't have air to ground weapons so presumably they'd make use of the internal cannon for that the aircraft turning on the final approach, when we see it roll past us, we'll get a very good view of that air brake once again. Flown today, as it was last year, by Colonel Oleksandr Oksanchenko. He's been the flanker display pilot for Ukraine since 2011. And he's got about 1,050 hours on this flight. So we see a bit of aerodynamic braking there, compressing the air in front of it. The large air brake, and we're just about to see two brake parachutes come out of the back of the aircraft. No thrust reverse, just enormously powerful brakes on this aircraft. And its landing weight, almost empty weight, is the same as the max takeoff weight of the F-16 as we see it roll past us now. Very impressive to see, as ever, from the 831st Guards Tactical Aviation Brigade of the Ukrainian Air Force, the Sukhoi Su-27 P-1M.